Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what is EDR, Endpoint Detection and Response, and how you can get it for free. Yes, I said it, for free. There's an open source EDR for you to use, and I use it myself, and I want to show you guys how to use it and how to install it and all that good stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, thank you so much for checking me out. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are returning, you know the deal. So let's jump onto the desktop and uh, see what's going on. All right, so here we have, what is an EDR, right? What is endpoint detection and response? So this is a system of, you know, a system security platform that analyzes data in real time. So say, for example, you may have heard of CrowdStrike of uh, 365 Defender from, uh, from uh, Microsoft, maybe use Cortex from Palo Alto. There's so many platforms out there and we can even Google. Let's just go out to Google really quick. And what is the best EDR? CrowdStrike is probably gonna be number one. Let's just look at the best EDRs here. CrowdStrike, obviously, but it's not free. And Sophos, Sophos is another good one. Malwarebytes, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Huntress, Huntress is good, I use Huntress, uh, Sentinel One, right, so on and so forth, right? So you can see, let's see if a VMware uh, a Carbon Black EDR, WatchGuard, Cortex XDR, which is from Palo Alto, and so many more, right? But in today's video, we're going to be talking about from Komodo. So we'll get to that shortly. So open EDR. It's from Exidium, right? So if we can see here, we can see it right there, right? So I want to put this, this uh, link in the description. So once you have this link, you can go ahead and fill all this stuff out and then log in. Once you log in, you can, you, you're going to be prompted with the dashboard. This is the dashboard for me. If I go to my assets, before we do a little tour, you can see some assets that I have already. We'll give it a second to load. Uh, we'll give it a moment, another moment, uh, another moment. Let's go ahead and X out of some other. So while this is loading, and if this doesn't load, we can just go ahead and I have it on my, I have it here. So we'll just use my Google Chrome. That's fine with me. So we have the big boss, which is my machine, and I have everything installed. Antivirus, firewall, containment, EDR. So I have a laptop behind me uh, that is running Windows 11. And I have the installer, which when you, let's go back here for a second. Once you actually get your account set up, I don't know why this is taking so long. Let's see, maybe because it, let's go ahead and try to go to assets again, see if it loads up quicker. I'm not sure, which I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm using Brave Browser. I thought it was gonna be a little quicker, but not. So then you can just go ahead and, and enroll your device. Once you hit enroll, you can download, download everything, but I already have it downloaded. So let me go back to my dashboard and then I can just go ahead and we, this is pretty much the difference between EDR and, and antivirus is a solution focused on detection and response while antivirus solutions focus on prevention. I just wrote this up. I was gonna uh, explain this later on, but I guess I'll explain it now. So XDR is a, you know, EDR, excuse me, EDR solutions are better by detecting both known and unknown threats. This is because it doesn't rely on signatures like antivirus solutions do, All right? So let me go ahead and just go back to my Windows 11 machine. So I have the installer here. Once you have it downloaded, you can install it. So let's go ahead and install this on my machine. And the machine is sitting right behind me. You guys can't see it, but it is. Let's go back and we can see we have uh, refresh this. We can, we'll probably have another device, right? So let's go ahead and go to assets, devices, and we have this admin, right? But there's nothing else installed, only, only AV, oh, AG, right? Which is the agent. That's all that's, this is pretty much the communication between my computer and the cloud. But if we click on admin in this case, right? We can click on admin. 
And we have a whole bunch of information here, which is sweet. We can see the network. We say, okay, it's still, it's still taking some time to actually uh, boot up, but we can see, okay, this is, has the IP address of 192.168.50.184, my gateway, so on and so forth. So it's very, very informative. And the cool thing is, say for example, there's patches that need to be updated. You can go ahead and go to patch management and update your windows. But let's go back to the device list again. This is, if you get this, you're probably gonna get walked through the portal provisioning, and then it's gonna get you a link. You can copy this link and save it, and this is where you can download your agents as well. Okay, or you can just click out of it. So, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so admin, the only thing that we have here is the agent, right? So let's go ahead and click on here. Oh, the patch, the patch status. So if we look at patch status, everything is good. So that Windows machine behind me is fully up to date and it's all good, okay? So let's go ahead and go back to admin. This is the PC behind me. It takes a little thumbnail picture. So let's go ahead and go to install manage. So we're gonna install additional packages, the first option. So we have install client security and then install EDR, right? So we can force it, but I wanna go ahead and warn, okay? So I can see when it's actually installed. So let's go ahead and install this. You can see how on the left-hand side, probably my head's in the way, but it says the command has been sent. We can also look at the, all the information here. So we can look at MSI installations. We can see it's queued up. Once it's done, it'll say successful, right? So we'll have to give this a moment and we can actually RDP back into here. Now the command shell opens up. I wanted to do host name, but it's admin. So I wanted to show you guys my host name here is the same as the portal on the open EDR application. Okay, so we'll give this a few moments and we'll go back to what is the EDR, right? So what are the typical things that are included? What kind of components? So we can look at that, you know, a data collection agent that gathers data from, vir from various sources within your network, right? So like I said, if you guys use CrowdStrike, say for example, if there's lateral movement on your network, this can catch it, give you an alert, open up a ticket, and you can just go address it and investigate it, right? EDR would mo normally be more on the blue teaming when you're doing maybe, you know, investigation. Maybe if you have a red team or a pen test going on, your EDR will go up like a Christmas tree to try to catch those bad guys or those testers, right? There's a correlation engine that analyzes the data that's, you know, that's suspicious. You know, there's a whole bunch of things and how do you deploy and use it? And you can read all this, how you can actually do that, right? What are the different, different types of EDRs? You know, there's different types. You can choose uh, how to choose, you know, platform, deployment, features, etc. Why open EDR? I think the biggest reason is because it's free and you can learn how to use an EDR application. Why not? All right, so here was... Um, how do the EDR solutions differ from a traditional antivirus? You know, I just, I just pretty much said that a few minutes ago. So EDR solutions are designed to detect, um, designed to detect and respond, right, to an attack. And there's so many other reasons. The main reason is because their devices are monitored in real time, right? So, so on and so forth, and you know, who can use it? MSPs, which is managed service providers, MSSSPs, MSSPs, managed security service providers, and enterprises. And for me, I'm using it for myself, right? I'm just using it to test it and just to tinker with it. And I can monitor my own computers, which is awesome. All right, so let's go back here. Let's go ahead and refresh this and see. Refresh. And let's go back here. Boom, boom. Just my mic is in the way, so I can't really see down there. 
but we'll give this a few moments. It says about five minutes, so it's still command is in Q. So let's give this a moment. Let's go ahead. And okay, so the EDR has been uh, successfully installed. You can see that there. Perfect. So we can click on details and we can see here, let's make this a little bigger. We can see here, everything is good, right? Everything successful has been downloaded to the device. So it's queued and downloaded and it's successfully installed. Okay. Perfect. So let's go back over to devices. Device list, let's X out of here. So now we can see the EDR is installed, right? So it's still, it's still doing its thing. It's still doing its thing. So we can come back here. We can probably see a little, uh, it's probably just not fully installed yet. So we'll give this a few more moments. Okay. So let's go back. We can refresh this. Go back to admin. MSI installation. So it's now it's downloading the security to the device, right? So while this is doing its thing, let's go ahead and go back to, to dashboard and we can go to security endpoint security. So this is where your EDR lives, right? This is where, for example, I can look at different um, devices, my devices, uh, like my devices, I think big, big boss, right? That's my computer that we're talking on now. And we can see, you know, EDR component. We can see the binary executing temporary directories and is doing this Komodo. So it's installing itself. It's installing Komodo. So yeah. And then say, for example, we want to look at the hashes, right? Like we have a file hash. Let's go to investigate hash search. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's search. Events. You can see all the, you know, all the events now, like the device name is admin. This is the computer that we have just installed the EDR on. We can look at everything. So say for example, this hash, we can copy this hash. Copy. I like that boy. Uh, do, 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 do. Show file hash and search. So we could take this hash and we can also run this against like uh, virus total for an example. Let's look at virus total, right? So we could say, okay, let's search this. For an example, if it was malicious, we can search it. This looks pretty clean. Obviously it, it tells us it's clean, it's safe, good to go. And this is conhost.exe. So yeah, so let's go ahead and look at device view. We can see my machine and the admin machine, right? So there's three counts there. And you can just look, you know, admin privilege user usage, excuse me. And there's going to be a million things on here, which is fine. 199, this is just different IPs. And let's go ahead and go to investigate alarm search. All right. So now, let me just look at admin. Okay. Apply. Now we'll just look at everything from my admin machine. And this is it. And the same kind of thing. You can look. All right. It's probably because it disconnected because it probably has everything installed now. Boom. Everything is installed. Needs attention. Let's see what the attention is needed. It probably just needed to be rebooted. Let's try to. Let's do this again. Let's go ahead and connect. All right, that's fine. So what we can do now, we can X out of here. And now we can click on admin. This is another cool thing. We can actually take control remotely directly from our, our, um, our computer, right? So we can hit remote control. We can open up this application and then paste it. All right, I'm gonna ask me for MFA. All right, let me do my MFA password. All right, and the reason I'm doing this is because it has remote access. So I just lost connection to my RDP. 
I'm not sure, maybe the firewall got turned on. Something happened, in which we can find out right now. But we connected it. We can connect it back to it. Now I'm going to remote. I want to connect back to here. So let's see what happened. So we're going to go ahead and reboot this now, right? We're going to reboot it. And now we can minimize this. Let's go back to our EDR. Assets, devices, device list. Get out of here. And once this reboots, we should be golden. Okay, so it's rebooting. It's gonna be installing updates. So that's probably what it is. So if we go back here to patch management, it probably, yeah, had some updates that needed to be installed. So you see here, oh, it says status, installed, 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 available, installed. Now it just needed a reboot. Reboot maybe. Obviously, we needed a reboot because it showed us the icon for the Windows updates. All right. So you can see here so many different things. Obviously, that's all installed. Awesome. We can see the firewall. We can see antivirus. You know, everything. Pretty much, obviously, there's nothing yet. But yeah, that pretty much concludes the video, guys. Hopefully, you guys really enjoyed that video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out in any way. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. I'm really trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. And you guys are the ones that have helped me get there. So I appreciate you guys so much. And until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you.